Thank you, Bill, for joining me today. Thank you, Megan, for giving us an opportunity to talk about Family Service Agency. Well, it certainly is our pleasure. Why don't you start off by telling me and our viewers the mission of FSA? Family Service Agency's mission is to strengthen and advocate for families and individuals of all ages, helping to create a strong community. And how is FSA serving our local community? We have a range of programs to serve children, youth, and families. We also operate the 211 Helpline, which is a 24 7 information referral and counseling line. We also have programs for older adults. Okay. The 211 Hotline, how is that different from the 911 service? Actually, it's a great question because 211 was created to help take some pressure off the 911 system. Mm -hmm. The United Way of America felt that they advocated for the creation of a three digit phone number, 211 because they felt that it was important all across the country that there be a health and human service information line. So we launched 211 Helpline about five and a half years ago here in Santa Barbara County. Previously it was known as Chris Helpline, Community Resource Information Service. Interesting. Well, thank you for sharing that bit of information with us. What sort of impact is FSA having in our community? Well, we think we're having a tremendous impact. Our biggest uh, area of service is school-based services. We have uh, a relationship with the Carpinteria, Santa Barbara, and Lompoc school districts to provide school-based counseling, all the way from kindergarten through senior high school, grade 12. We also operate family resource centers, which is part of our school-based service niche in the community. We're having a tremendous impact, having, having young people uh, that may be having adjustment problems in school, mm -hmm. not being able to focus on their education because of family issues that they're troubled about. We're able to provide assistance to them and their parents so that the child can do well in school. I know that FSA has a very rich history. Mm -hmm. Would you describe that history for me? It really is pretty amazing. I'm a social worker by training and the history of Family Service Agency is very similar to the history of social work as it developed in our country. So this agency was created in 1899 and originally it was called Associated Charities. Okay. So a group of citizens, clergy, business leaders felt there was a need to organize charity in, a, in Santa Barbara. There was no United Way. Okay. There were no real government services in those days. So Associated Charities was created and basically organized charitable work, coordinated activity. Eventually, the agency became known as a Neighborhood House. And in social work terms, it, it's called a Settlement House. It was a place where citizens came for basic human needs, basically food, clothing, and other kinds of assistance. Oh, wow. Gradually, we became what is now the Family Service Agency, providing a range of services, mostly related to counseling and mental health and other family support services up to the current time. Would you share with me mm -hmm. some of the things that FSA um, does or has done that our viewers might not be aware of? Mm -hmm. Well, I think we have a number of programs. We actually have over a, a dozen discrete programs, and some of them are very specialized. One in particular is Big Brother, Big Sister program. Often people know about Big Brother Big Sister, but they may not know it's affiliated with Family Service yeah. Agency. So it's a mentoring program and we match volunteer adults, big brothers and sisters, with young people between 7 and 17. So that's an example. Okay. We also have some very specialized programs, one in Lompoc called Intensive in Home. And these are families that have some really serious challenges. In fact, there's concern that perhaps a family may not be able to care for a child. And we do whatever it takes, wraparound services, to try to ensure that that family is stable, the child is safe, and prevent placement into foster care or residential treatment. You mentioned Big Brothers and Big Sisters, mm -hmm. and I know that myself, our viewers are familiar with that program. What are some other organizations in the community that FSA partners with or has relationships uh -huh. with? Um, we really have worked very hard to collaborate, so we have many, many partners. Uh, in particular, uh, CADA is an example that comes to mind because our biggest niche is school-based mental health. So CADA, the Council on Alcoholism and Drug Abuse, they prevent substance abuse, have many programs that are in the schools and in the community, and so they're one of our key partners. Mm -hmm. We also partner with CALM, Child Abuse Listening and Mediation, refer families back and forth as the need would exist. And we also have many public partners. Those are agencies for county government that fund some of our programs through contracts or other partnerships such as that. How does someone in need of support from FSA mm -hmm. contact or go about getting help uh -huh. from your organization? Well, the, the number one source of referrals to our agency is word of mouth. People hear about FSA from a, a friend, a business associate, someone who's received help from us before. They can obviously call the agency. Um, they can check our website out, which is 
www.fsacares.org, and of course the 211 program. If you call 211, you'll be getting FSA, but we can link you to not only our programs, but other community services as well. What kind of help does FSA need? Our audience is an engaged one and uh -huh. always ready to help. In terms of you know, financial support or just volunteer support, what are some of the areas that our viewers can plug in? Mm -hmm. Well, financial support is always a benefit to the agency. We have uh, a climate right now economically where funding is eroding from government sources, from foundations, even individual giving. So we could use support uh, if uh, someone is interested in making a contribution. They can get on our website and there is information there about making a contribution. Volunteers as well. We have need for volunteers during the day, mm -hmm. and, you know, administrative operations. You can volunteer for the Big Brother Big Sister program. You can volunteer for special events. So there are many opportunities, again, if you contact FSA. Now you've been with the organization, Bill, for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Will you remind me and share with our viewers how many years you've been with FSA? I've been in Santa Barbara and with FSA for 18 years, and I feel blessed to have had that opportunity. That's a remarkable amount of time. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. What is it about FSA that keeps you so passionate about this work? Well, for me, it's about family. Um, I had tremendous, I had a great family myself. Uh, I had a great mom and dad who taught me about community service. That's why I do what I do mostly. But I also had great mentors uh, in social work that, uh, in, you know, kind of inspired me and also encouraged me to become a social work administrator, which I have been for 32 years total, 18 here in Santa Barbara. And to me, it's about family. Um, a, a quick story, we took my mother-in-law, my wife and I, to Italy to visit my mother-in-law's family. She had never been. And we visited a village, and when she met uh, her own family, one of her cousins, mm -hmm. um, we were talking, and they said in Italian, and I can't repeat it in Italian, but the family is the heart and soul of the village. And that's what our agency is about. Family is so important to our society and our community, and that's why I'm passionate about the work of Family Service Agency. I certainly share that sentiment. Well, thank you, Bill, so much for talking with us today. Will you repeat the contact information for our viewers? I know you have some very attractive um, outreach materials uh -huh. that have been recently produced and a new website. So would you share that website again with our viewers? Okay, it's www.fsacares.org. That's C-A-R-E-S, fsacares.org. Thank you so much again for talking with us. Thank you for your years of service and thank you to FSA for all the great work in the Thanks, community. Thanks, Megan. You're watching Nonprofit Spotlight. If you'd like your nonprofit featured in a future nonprofit spotlight, contact us at the information on your screen.